Hey guys, Editing Allie here. I realized I did not make an introduction for this video, so I'm doing that now. This is a essentially six week recap of my hormone coming off of birth control transformation journey thus far. There are going to be multiple installments to this series, but please be kind. This is real and raw footage of me being vulnerable with you guys, uh, hoping I can help others on their journey. As always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them below or email me. Uh, and you can also connect on Instagram or Facebook. Let's jump in. Good morning. Hello, guys. Um, today is August 26th. I'm actually getting ready to fly back to Colorado today um, to visit my family, which I'm super excited about. Um, I have been over the last two, three months um, researching all about coming off of hormonal birth control and all of the routes of opportunity to prevent pregnancy, fix my hormones, and get everything back in gear. Um, I've started reading Beyond the Pill. It has helped me really figure out where to get my hormones in line, how to get my hormones in line, and all of the things, um, getting myself set up for the journey. I have found two different um, routes that, that you can go. Um, so one is obviously like uh, condoms and those kinds of things. The other route is basal body temperature tracking. What this looks like is you essentially take your temperature first thing in the morning after at least two consecutive hours of sleep. So that way your body is like at a natural temperature. Take your temperature first thing in the morning, um, track it, and you get a pattern through your cycle um, that shows like your body temperature reflects where you're at in your cycle. So whether you are ovulating, um, whether you are getting ready to start your period, all of those different things, your body temperature actually shows that. Um, now I just came off of my hormonal birth control. Actually, let me pull up my notes. Period journey notes. Um, so I stopped taking my hormonal birth control on August 19th. So not even 10 days ago. Um, I then had my first um, withdrawal bleed, which it's when you're on hormonal birth control, the reason that you have a period, unfortunately, is not because you are actually having a natural period. The reason you're having a period is because your body is having a withdrawal from the synthetic hormones that are being put in your body from the birth control. So it ends up being a withdrawal bleed, not a true natural period. Um, I've been on birth control for 11 years, since I was 16. Uh, I'm not gonna act like I'm an expert on the subject yet. I'm going to continue learning and going to continue um, expanding my knowledge on the topic, but I want to share with you guys this journey every step of the way um, because if you are in the same boat where you want to start doing things more naturally and holistically for your body like I want to, this is a great route and option to do it. And if I can trial and error and help people, like you know I'm all about it. So I opted to go with basal body temperature tracking. Um, there was a thermometer called Daisy Thermometer. Um, great, very high tech. It actually like color coats your days for you right on the thermometer. So you can see what everything looks like and you get a very hands off. It tracks automatically to your app for you and everything. Um, now with that the thermometer itself is relatively expensive it's about three hundred dollars but you don't have to pay for like a membership subscription to the app or anything like that which is super nice um but for myself like eventually i want to evolve there but starting my journey i want to learn my cycle myself I want to track my temperature. I want to see all of the changes happening, take the notes, make the notes, do all of the things. 
so that way I can really learn about my body and my cycle because that's that's the purpose of doing this is to better communicate and better function my body. So I opted to start with the um, natural cycles um, basal body thermometer and actually in their app so they do get an app you do have to pay a yearly subscription um, when I signed up the yearly subscription was $89 and you got the thermometer included for free you can do different apps and just buy their thermometer if you just buy their thermometer I believe it's like $20 um, to purchase just the thermometer and then you can use like a different app if you want to um, to track everything but I wanted it all to be in the same system um, one thing over the course of the last week and a half that I found with using the natural cycles app because though I didn't have the thermometer to track my temperature I had been tracking you know just different symptoms that I was having like I said I did go through a withdrawal bleed so tracking that in there um, and all the things because guys and i will do like more detailed stuff about like your cycle and everything like cycle breakdown 101 um but even things down to the cervical mucus <laughs> that happens um right and we all get we we all have the discharge we all have all of that stuff happen and we're like god damn it why are you ruining my panties like why is this happening like it's natural it's normal and that actually tells us so much about where we are in our cycle what our body is doing and all of the things so i opted to go with natural cycles um i got their basal body temperature thermometer geez louise um and these so a basal body thermometer is different than a regular thermometer because it measures to the tenth of a degree so you wake up in the morning after sleeping and first thing you do before you're moving around like literally turn off your alarm grab your thermometer pop it in your mouth it needs to be the first thing that you are doing so that way it can get the most accurate reading as possible you need to do this at least five days a week every day is best um, and you want to try and do it around the same time so you want to have a schedule I have a set schedule for myself already um, so not a big deal but you do want to have like a set schedule for yourself in the recommendations um, of basal body temperature tracking so you take it then you go into the app and log what that looks like for you and then eventually the app creates a graph for you showing where you're at and the app actually learns your cycle and is able to predict and tell you when you are ovulating when all of the things are happening so that way you can abstain from having sex so that way you do not get pregnant because a fun fact which i didn't know until i started going into this journey is it is actually very very difficult to get pregnant um and there's about a six to nine window um on average that you're able to get pregnant and that's during your ovulation period um if you are outside of the ovulation period it is really hard for you to get pregnant now if you have sex before your ovulation period um sperm actually can live in our in our bodies for up to five days so if you have sex before your ovulation period stuff happens and that sperm remains inside of you and you go into ovulation then there is that chance that you are going to get pregnant but if you were being very safe using multiple systems of contraceptive not just doing the thermometer being very safe with everything you are going to be able to um, prevent pregnancy naturally without having to take a hormonal birth control pill today is i just got this in the mail so this is just kind of noting the start of my journey um, and I will be back within about a week of an update talking about everything I've learned, tracking over the course of this week. There are going to be multiple installments to this video, probably like part one, part two, part three, um, to make up an entire big video. I just want to notate and talk about where I'm at right now. So we will be back and I will see you in just a bit. Okay, so a hormone check-in. Um, it has been almost three weeks exactly. Uh, Sunday will be three weeks. 
Um, and god damn, these last two days have been so freaking rough. Um, mood swing wise, uh, my emotions are all over the place. I've been feeling exhausted. I've had a constant headache. Um, this morning I actually even skipped working out because I just felt like I needed to rest. Like I had absolutely no energy. It was all I could do to keep my eyes open. Um, ended up going back to sleep, didn't work out, and got up about seven, showered, feeling a little bit better. Um, made my way over to Sprouts to pick up some stuff to hopefully help ease um, everything that's going on. So I just wanted to show you guys, like do a mini check-in, talk about how I'm feeling, um, and then show you guys what I got. Prior to these last two days, I have been feeling really freaking good. No midday crashing where I felt tired and needed like a nap midday, which is huge for me because I can, I always feel like I could just lay down and take a nap. Um, and prior to these last two days, I felt very, very good. Um, and then these last two days just kind of hit me <laughs> like a train. Um, so I got some stuff to help based off of my Beyond the Pill book, um, from Dr. Brighton. So the first thing, which I've always known this and I've done this for a very long time, peppermint oil. Um, I got like a little roller balm, peppermint oil. This is, um, peppermint is really great for helping with migraines. So I put it on my wrists, put it just behind my ears on your temples. And then I saw a suggestion on um, an Instagram post talking about peppermint oil to put it here next to your sinuses. Um, so hopefully this helps um, my migraine and my headaches kind of go away. So the first thing that I got, peppermint oil, great for migraines, uh, regardless of what you are doing. The next thing that I got um, is this tincture um, cramp bark. I have not had a period yet and won't for I think another week and a half is what is predicted in my natural cycles app. Um, but cramp bark is specifically, obviously, for cramps. So cramp bark, this is a tincture made from an herb. Um, it is suggested to take, to start taking it about two days before you start your period, when cramps start in, in, ensuing, start happening, whatever. Um, you take one to two teaspoons, um, two to three times a day and through the duration of your period while you're having cramps and it's supposed to help a lot. I just got this in preparation. Like I said, I have not had a period yet. Um, since being off birth control and it is normal to not have one right away directly after coming off of birth control we will see what happens um my timeline says it should be in about a week and a half though um and then i did get a tea now i know this is uh, everyday detox tea it's not like a detox like that that's supposed to help you lose weight um, the reason i got this one is because it was easier to just buy one than to buy multiple things uh, this has a uh, dandelion root fennel fruit peppermint leaf and licorice root so the reason that i got this is because of the dandelion and the licorice root so licorice helps support the lining of your gut, um, which then helps, you know, all of our hormones come from our gut and which I will talk about as well in a later thing. But the reason that I got it is because um, licorice root helps with the lining of your gut and it helps with cleaning out, getting rid of um, kind of all the bad stuff in your gut, making your gut healthy to make your hormones healthy. So that with the licorice root, and then I'm reading out of the book where I've taken notes on. Um, and then dandelion root 
tea uh, specifically supports a health, healthy liver detoxification and it can make a great beverage replacement for people who want to kick coffee. So it helps with your liver. Again, your liver has a lot of things to do with your gut and detoxifying your body and you need to clean out all the bad stuff to get all the good stuff to then not have as many issues with hormone imbalance and such. So I don't even know guys, I'm sorry. Um, this isn't even, I'm not even gonna edit this down really. Um, this is raw, this is like real check-in footage. I'm gonna have a glass of this. Uh, this is going in my cabinet and I already put some of this on. So that's our check-in. I will check in with you guys again. Hey guys, all right, check-in number three and final check-in for this first introduction video. I have so much to catch you up on. It is now September 30th. Uh, my last check-in was September 11th. I have uh, an iPad full of notes here to chat with you guys about. So a handful of things that I wanna talk about. First, uh, check-in with what's happening with me. So. I successfully started my period actually Tuesday morning. Um, so I did start my period, which was super exciting. It is not uncommon to not have a period for even a couple of months after coming off of hormonal birth control. So the fact that I got mine right away, I was, I was pretty excited um, about it and honestly, very surprisingly, it snuck up on me. I had no cramps, I had no bloating, I had none of the telltale signs, but telling me that my period was coming, I just woke up one morning, went to the bathroom, and hello, Aunt Flo. That is a huge, huge win um, in itself, and especially since I didn't have a ton of symptoms, um, because PMS does not have to be awful. You do not have to have really bad cramps, all of the things. I digress. Let's back up just a little bit. The last time you guys saw me was September 11th. The following day, I woke up completely feeling different. All of the brain fog was gone and I was able to be very productive. Still kind of emotional, but energy started coming back. This is just shows like the mood swings and the effects of hormones and the ups and the downs. My body is still really trying to regulate everything and I do go through a flow of emotions, but for the most part, I feel a lot more regular over the last couple of days. Uh, actually, probably like the last week or so, I felt much more regular in emotions, meaning I didn't have very high highs or very low lows. I haven't had really any brain fog. Everything has been pretty clear for me and I've had a ton of energy, uh, which is really, really nice. Around September 20th, I did end up getting some like more breakouts than I'm used to on my face, which definitely comes with hormones um, and changes in the balances and all of the things. So to work with that, I really just focusing on cleaning my face, making sure I'm taking off all of my makeup. And I've been doing honey masks. Honey actually has really good antibacterial properties to it. So clean my face completely. And then I will put a good coat of um, raw honey on my face and let that sit for five to 10 minutes. Wash it off, the natural sugars just dissolve and it has helped clear up my face quite a bit. Lots of water as well and making sure that I'm eating like proper foods. Proper foods meaning in this journey, like clearing out and detoxifying your body, which is really where I'm focusing on right now. Limiting the amount of caffeine, not having a ton of processed foods, lots, lots of fresh fruits and veggies, making sure that's balanced. This is generally how I eat anyways, but just really focusing on the contents that I'm putting into my body. On 9-12, 21, I got extremely bloated. I felt like my stomach was descended for a couple of days and it hurt very bad. And on the scale, I weighed 136, which is quite an influx for me. I generally weigh between 128 to 123 is where I fluctuate from day to day. So that was very high on the scale for me and I was not able to pass any bowel movements. That did last for a couple of days um, and then eventually subsided and now I am back down to regular feelings um, in my digestion, my gut and everything like that. It only lasted like four days, which is still not 
uh, not awesome, but good that it regulated out relatively quickly. My period started on 9.28 and here we are 9.30 and still on my period. L very minimal effects still. I haven't been having a ton of cramping, not a lot of fatigue, no headaches. Um, I know at previous in the video, you watching up until this point, uh, you saw that I did go through a point where I was struggling a lot with having headaches and migraines is not uncommon for me. I've had migraines for as long as I can remember, but that was different than a migraine. It was very head foggy pressure in my head. It was, it was a lot different. So peppermint oil definitely helped with that. Over the last two days, I have been using the cramp bark. It doesn't taste great. Like I'm, I'm going to be fully transparent. It doesn't taste great, but I mean, it's not supposed to, it's a medicine. It's not supposed to be like, mm, give me some of that cramp bark, you know, but you do mix it with, I found that, um, if I need to, to use it, I'm using it. I've only used it twice daily. So once in the morning and then once at nighttime in the morning, I've just been like putting a little water in my mouth, a couple of drops, swallowing it quickly and chasing it with some additional water. And then at nighttime, I just put it in my kombucha and that like essentially hides the taste of it anyways. On the bottle here, it suggested, suggest taking uh, to do 30 drops in water or juice one to three times daily or as needed. I've only been doing about five drops each time I take it. So barely any, and I've had li little to no cramps um, whatsoever, which is really nice. Going off of my Beyond the Pill book um, that Dr. Julie Brighton talks about is that you need to put in a multivitamin because your micronutrients are super, super important for you to have to make sure your hormones are functioning properly. Different things, magnesium, zinc, all of those really play into hormones and balances in your body. So I have my, I got the gym supplements, um, multivitamin, Yes, I work with first form, but reason that I got this is because it does not have zinc within the multivitamin itself. It screws up the absorption, essentially, of the other nutrients in this. So I have the gym supplements, multivitamin, and then I have separately the gym, vitamin, zinc, and magnesium. Magnesium does make you sleepy. So I take this one on an empty stomach before bed. So meaning I eat dinner around 6, 6.30 and I'm taking this about 8.30, 9 o'clock. And this I take in the morning when I take all of my other vitamins and supplements. I do suggest eating when you take your vitamins, such as like a multivitamin and things, especially if it says it on the container to make sure you're eating so that way you do not get uh, an upset stomach. Also, a lot of the vitamins and minerals within multivitamins are going to be fat soluble, meaning for your body to be able to absorb them, you do have to have fat in your body, like actively in your stomach. Another really good one, this one is just what I've had, what I've been using, is a fish oil, uh, omega-3, super, super important fatty acids. Um, very important just in general for brain function, health, all of the things. But that is one that I've been adding in. And then also I added in this evening primrose. It doesn't talk about it. I haven't seen anything in my Beyond the Pill book talk about this, but this was actually something that I saw um, off of another content creator's page that she talked about using this um, and it really helped with her symptoms. So I was like, hey, might as well add it in and it's just one tablet or one gel. This is like the gel that I take daily for it. So that has, uh, I think has helped immensely. Um, with everything, I'm, I must be doing something right considering my period just snuck up on me. As for my natural cycles tracking, it is going very well. I would say it's been a habit to get used to rolling over and popping the thermometer in my mouth, but really easy to do. It takes about 30 seconds for the thermometer to read. And then if I want to just go back to bed, like in the morning, um, if I get up to let the dogs out in the morning, I will 
pop it in my mouth before I get up, let it read the temperature. It doesn't even wake my boyfriend up when it beeps or anything like that. He hasn't noticed it. So I just pop it in my mouth and then put it back down as soon as it tells me it's done. Go let the dogs out, go to the bathroom myself and go back to bed. I'll wake up in a couple of hours again and track it um, and put it in my app because it holds the, the temperature there for you specifically for that reason. So that way you can go back to bed because you do want to try and measure within the same about two hour window uh, each day. So that's been going really well. And the next clip and how I'm going to end this video update for you guys is walking through just like a voiceover walking through the app and everything that I found with the app helpful tips tricks all of the things and super exciting guys as we jump into this next clip I do want to let you know natural cycles reached out to me and asked me to be part of their ambassador program so you can use code Allison or there's a link down below in the comment section of this video that you can use. You will get 20% off a yearly subscription as well as a free thermometer available for you. All right, guys. So walking through my natural cycles app here, it opens up to what your prediction for the day is. Then you can see a graph of my month. Green is not fertile. Red is don't have sex. Editing Allie here. <laughs> I wanted to pop in and just point out I see that there's a lot of red days where the app is like, whoa, don't have sex, uh, and very few green days, which give you the go ahead to have sex and say they're probably not going to get pregnant. As you use the app and as the app gets more familiar with you and your cycle and your flow, you get more green days. Uh, currently, I'm just starting using the app. It's only been a month and a half. Uh, as well as coming off of hormonal birth control, my body is still regulating and figuring its own shit out. So my peaks and valleys of where my body temperature is, which is what the app uses to graph and regulate everything, uh, is all over the place. So it does change as the app gets more familiar with you and your cycle. Um, and you can see I'm scrolling through the days. You can see it says use protection on those days. Then we get to ones that I've actually tracked and in input information. And you can see all the different things that I have put in. Now tracking my day, I already put my temperature in. We're going through putting I'm on my period, no sex drive. Um, you track everything up to cervical mucus, sex drive, how you're feeling if you're in any kind of pain, mood, feeling a little bit tired but chill. Then we can also come in and see where I am at in my cycle. It also gives me more information about how I should be feeling in this part of my cycle. Uh, I also get informational pieces that talks about, you know, cycling, uh, as well as different things that come up. When I'm feeling different ways, it'll bring up fun facts for you to learn. You can also see here that you can track and see like your percentages of what everything looks like. This is a general education area where you can do guides and quizzes and really learn about your cycle and what being a woman fully entails because I really feel like we didn't learn any of this stuff in school uh, and it covers everything from periods to birth control to quizzes to sex to all the different guides for the app and things like that as well. Um, coming in to this area, you can see like average cycles and things like that, insights, how long my cycle length is, how long my period has been, um, and what have you, average cycles for my follicular, ovulation, luteal phase, all of the things can be seen there. Uh, you can also go into your history and instead of clicking through your days in your month view, kind of see an overall trend of how you're feeling, temperatures, those kinds of things. And you can go to the little graph area there in the top corner and it will pull up and you can actually see graphs of your temperatures as you are tracking it. Uh, right now you can tell mine is pretty all over the place because everything in my body is still really trying to regulate, but that will slowly change into a more um, not as drastic changes. Here you can see how you've tracked like 
sex drive, mood, how you're feeling, what your period is like, what your cervical mucus is like, and all of the things. Thank you guys for watching and coming along on this journey with me. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I would love to talk to you guys about anything and we'll be doing another update video soon. Bye guys.